I am uh, very pleased to be here today to share with you some of the background and the program of the U.S. Overseas Cooperative Development Council. Uh, the council got its start uh, in 1961 when Congress passed President Kennedy's Foreign Assistance Act. And in that act, uh, cooperatives were mentioned quite frequently as a tool for uh, economic and social, uh, social development. And uh, the U.S. Agency for International Development was formed by that piece of legislation. And because cooperatives were so prominently uh, mentioned in the legislation, uh, the USAID asked the cooperative movement to advise them on how to implement uh, cooperative development. That then led to funding uh, that actually got the uh, U.S. cooperatives involved with implementing programs around the world. Uh, the, mi the mission of uh, OCDC is to champion, advocate, and promote effective international cooperative development and we envision a world where people in all countries have the opportunity to work together through cooperatives to create a better life for themselves and their communities. Uh, OCDC is a membership organization, and on this slide you can see the logos of our members. And I'll just briefly uh, share with you a little bit about each one. Uh, the World Foundation for Credit Unions is part of the World Council of Credit Unions. Uh, they're an international uh, organization. Uh, Global Communities was formerly known as CHF International, and they come out of the housing movement here in the how, cooperative housing movement here in the U.S. Uh, Frontier Co-op is uh, a federated co-op of local co-ops, and they source uh, herbs and spices from around the world for U.S. consumer cooperatives. Uh, NCBA CLUSA is our Ape, National Apex organization representing all types of cooperatives, and they're an ICA member. Uh, health Partners is a large consumer-owned healthcare cooperative in the north central part of our country. Equal Exchange is a worker cooperative, uh, and they source fair trade product uh, from around the world and market that through U.S. consumer cooperatives. Uh, NRECA International is the international arm of the U.S. Rural electric cooperatives, there are about 900 U.S. electric cooperatives representing 46 million people. Uh, Land O'Lakes Venture 37 is uh, Land O'Lakes International Development Arm. Land O'Lakes is a dairy cooperative. And Gen X is a farmer-owned cooperative um, uh, that provides genetic services to their members. Uh, we have a small staff here at OCDC. We have uh, the equivalent of eight uh, eight people, and our work here is advocacy, thought leadership, and research. Um, and we uh, work with our members in the developing world. We don't actually implement development projects. Our members do that, uh, but we support our members through, as I mentioned, research, advocacy, and thought leadership. Uh, here are some pictures of some of our activities. The Upper left-hand corner is a learning event that took place in Kenya, uh, where we brought in cooperative leaders from that country together uh, for a week-long learning activity. Uh, lower left is a learning event here in the United States for our members. Uh, and the right-hand side picture is an example of one of the projects of our members where we, we work with farmers to move them up the value chain. For us, uh, development is what we're all about. It's not only uh, in our soul, it's in our DNA. And that's the only purpose we have at, at OCDC is cooperative development. So uh, our main methodologies and tools is we use co-created action research where we work with our members and other stakeholders to develop uh, honest, uh, impactful research. Uh, we use that research uh, and data uh, that drives our advocacy work. Um, and then we collaborate with our members and uh, with other stakeholders on best practices for international development. Uh, in order to further our research, several years ago, we created the International Cooperative Research Group, and I'll go into more detail on that in a few minutes. Uh, we're very focused on the enabling environment. Uh, we have a program called Clarity, 
uh, that focuses on uh, developing grassroots solutions to uh, legislative and regulatory issues that uh, cooperatives may have in various uh, countries. Our main advocacy activities is in support of the Cooperative Development Program. Uh, this is a grant program at the U.S. Agency for International Development. Uh, and uh, this year, for 2020, Congress uh, increased the appropriations for the program from 12 to $17 million a year, uh, citing the uh, great impact that the program has on uh, uh, development and furthering the mission of USAID. Uh, that was a 42% increase. Not many government programs get that type of increase any longer. And in addition to that, we also represent uh, cooperatives before the US Congress and the government on a variety uh, of, of issues. Our main funding for uh, OCDC comes from USAID, but we also receive funding from US Department of Agriculture and private uh, foundations. And we try to collaborate with the other ICA members from the US, NCBA CLUSA, NRECA, and the and Land O'Lakes. As I mentioned, um, uh, we started the International Cooperative Research Group about five years ago, and this was in response to a challenge we received from uh, the U.S. government. Uh, we were advocating for uh, more funding for various programs for cooperatives using anecdotal examples, um, and the, uh, uh, the government officials challenged us to say, okay, these are great stories, but we want you to prove what you're telling us. We need hard data to prove this. And uh, so they challenge uh, us so to do that. So, so what, what, we, what we've done is that we've uh, started a variety of research projects, uh, gathering data and using that data to draw some conclusions. Our major project that we have ongoing now is what difference do cooperatives make? This is a four country study, Poland, uh, Kenya, Philippines, and uh, Peru. And the study is completed in Poland, Philippines, and, and uh, Kenya. And we're now finishing up uh, Peru this year. Um, and what we've found uh, so far is that uh, cooperative members are better off financially uh, than non-cooperative members in each one of those countries, and that they're so and they build social capital for their for their own benefit and the benefit of their neighbors. Uh, but the difference now is we have hard data to prove this, uh, and so we're very excited about this. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, ocdc.coop, you can find the Poland study there along with the related data. And we'll be coming out soon with reports on Kenya and, and the Philippines. Uh, but we feel that this is very impactful uh, research that we'll use in our advocacy work uh, going forward. I mentioned our work on clarity on, on the enabling environment. Um, and we see the enabling environment for cooperative development as more than just laws and regulations. It's making sure that financing is available, uh, that technical assistance is available, education and, and training. One of our other projects uh, for the research group is on cooperative government governance. And uh, a, a key here for us is to not only take our research and learn from it, but turn it into tools that our members and others can use to improve their development activities. Uh, there's a lot of information around about cooperative governance, but what we found is that there were not tools that were readily available for people in the field uh, to work with, especially what we refer to as pre-co-ops or nascent co-ops, co-ops that are informal, but yet need governance. Uh, so we worked with our members and we created this uh, tool called the Cooperative Government Governance Assessment that uh, provides the ability for uh, field people to assess the governance needs of the cooperatives that they're working with. 
Uh, the sustainable development goals are very important to us. Uh, we It's hard to pick just three that are important, but uh, obviously uh, no poverty is, is a key, number one. That's something that um, uh, all of our programs of our members addresses uh, poverty. Uh, gender equality is also a key uh, uh, goal for us. Uh, later this year, we'll be starting a research project uh, on gender, and uh, we hope to collaborate with uh, the International Cooperative Development Platform and the members there and other ICA members. And uh, the third one is reduced inequalities. Uh, again, it's that's the substance of, of uh, cooperatives to eliminate inequalities, and it's a key uh, development goal for us. So our expectations for the ICDP, uh, we're looking for greater collaboration between OCDC and the other members of the ICDP, but also between our members and member, other members of the ICDP. So uh, our areas of focus, as I mentioned, uh, our research, advocacy, and funding. Again, we see our uh, research uh, that then strengthens our, is is honest research that comes up with positive results or negative results depending upon uh, the outcomes, but that we use that research to in, inform our development activities and improve our programs. But we also use that research to inform our advocacy work uh, to promote uh, cooperative development, which we hope will lead to increased support from uh, our national government and other uh, uh, a donor organizations for funding uh, for cooperative development.